Welcome back to Lost and Pound. Michelle is with us this hour, and we're talking with protectors of animals about this little dog. Who did you bring for us? Oh, this is our little man, Sully. Look at how cute he is. And everybody always mistakes him for a little eight-week-old German Shepherd puppy, but he he's... does look like a German <laughs> Shepherd puppy, actually. But he's full-grown. He's two years oh. old. We think that he's maybe a uh, Minpin Shiba Inu mix, maybe a little Chihuahua in there. Okay. But. Um, He's been so with cute. us for about four months. He's a, he's a great, great dog. He really thinks he's a person. He adores <laughs> people, adores kids. Not a fan of other dogs, um, wants to chase kitties, needs to be okay. the only, only pet in the home. But uh, he came to us from a situation where he was kind of passed around uh, from a few different families. Okay. And then he uh, landed with a man for, for a little, little bit. He, he's two years old, so um, this gentleman had dementia. and. Unfortunately, couldn't take care of him. Um, and then again, got passed around to someone who was trying to do right by him and rehome him. And right. he ended up with us. Um, and he's an active little guy, loves to hike, loves very good on a leash. Um, he's about 15 pounds. He's a big dog in a little dog body. Uh -huh. um, but he's just not doing really well recently at the kennel. He's getting very stressed, very Going anxious. Stir crazy. Yeah, he's running in circles. And, uh, we're trying to either get him adopted into his forever home or into a foster home where he can, you know, be a dog and yeah. be happy. I mean, right now that you're seeing calm, he's a totally different dog when he's not at the shelter. Right. It's just being in his pen. Sure, and he's been he's used to at some point in his life living in a home. So. Oh, absolutely. He's been in a few, unfortunately. Yeah. And Poor uh, guy. he's 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 ready to go. He's a great, great little companion. And you guys always need volunteers to help out. We do, we do. Uh, we are looking for uh, volunteers on the cat side, where uh, the shifts are located at our shelter in East Hartford. Okay. And then we definitely need dog team volunteers. Uh, we have two dog shelters, uh, small shelters, uh, one in East Hampton, one in Weathersfield. And for clean and feed, uh, walking shifts, we're always looking for help to care for our little furry wards. Yeah, and make the time, their time in the shelter a little bit easier. Too. Yeah, yeah, to spend some time with them, socialize them, love on them, <laughs> exercise them. We joke that sometimes the dogs we have in our care get more care than our own dogs at home. There you go. <laughs> and of course, fosters too. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, it's it's great to be able to get dogs into foster homes uh, because uh, we're building building our program slowly, but you get, you get a better idea of who they are when they're in a home environment right. than in a shelter. Right, and that's helpful when you're adopting too, to be able to talk to the foster family and oh, get an idea of, of how they did in your home. So the, actually the website is right there on yeah. the bottom of your screen there. That's the best way to get a hold of you guys? It is, okay. you can give us a call as well at 860-569-0722. And on our website, there's foster and volunteer applications as well as dog and cat applications. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be back next week with some more pets to introduce you to.